All right, so let's talk about some conversions and pixel, uh, pixel code implementation stuff. Again, things that have to do with uh, VSLs only because this is the VSL series. Uh, so basically, um, what happens with VSLs is that the ad platforms are more aligned with classic e-commerce, you know, stuff like Shopify, you know, Wix commerce and stuff like that. Um, so basically, you want to um, adjust or go with how the platform expects to be fed conversions. So what happens on Shopify is that you have someone looks, looks at the product, uh, adds the product to cart, initiates checkout, adds payment information, and then has like a purchase. Uh, with VSLs, we don't really have those things. And also sometimes we have a problem where we don't even have access to the offer page and sometimes we're working with an affiliate network that has to talk to the vendor itself in order to implement some pixels. So the question is, how do we give platforms that are weaker than Facebook, like Google, like Natives, more information so we could save money and save time, make um, just decisions that are much faster. So lots of affiliates are saving a ton of money by looking at the percentage of people who add to cart or the percentage of people who do a certain thing that's um, way before the purchase because it has a bigger conversion rate so they know that if the metrics aren't uh, you know standing in a certain um, standard they know just they can pause that publisher pause that creative they already know where they're standing again so platforms like TikTok uh, native platforms and even Google they need more they need more help okay so a few things that you can do. One thing would be implementing a pixel on your pre-lender. That's very easy. Someone who clicks out from the pre-lender, you already know what's the percentage gonna be there. You wanna make sure that you do that. If you have a survey or something like that, you wanna make sure that you implement a pixel throughout you know, all the stages and not just like a click out. So you know if there's like a, a question that people really have a big drop on or what's the right length of questions and the number of questions that kind of like balance educating the customer on one hand or and and you know you don't lose traffic or conversions at the end so you're able to A-B test that. Another thing that you can do is implement the Google Tag Manager and then if someone scrolls uh, to a certain percentage in the page or spends enough time you can fire a pixel on that and that would help you get more indications so that's something that would come before even the click out or just like an indicator on how quality uh, of traffic you're getting because some people would get into the pre-lender and then go out of the pre-lender, you know, click out into the offer, which sounds great, but they haven't read anything, you know, so you want to make sure that they actually go through the page. So that's a very good indicator. You want to optimize on that. So a few things that you want to make sure that you do not miss when you implement the codes. When you're in natives, you want to make sure that you're optimizing and including the conversions at the beginning. And that means that you want the platform to really optimize on those conversions. So make sure that you click on with, if we're talking about tabula, we were talking about including all conversions. That means that the system is actually going to optimize according to those things. Um, if you are on a platform like Google, make sure that um, at the beginning you're not setting those conversions as, as secondary conversions but as primary conversions. Also don't forget that you can actually segment those conversions. So for example if you're running on YouTube and you want to start optimizing and, and pausing some specific channels or videos and stuff like that then you want to make sure that you segment the conversions and then you can see how many people clicked out, how many people scrolled and then you can make decisions based on that. Again, at the beginning, I like to make it the primary conversion, so it feeds the algorithm lots of information. Later on, you wanna make sure that you switch it into a secondary conversion because you still want Google to use it, but you also wanna tell Google, hey, this isn't what I'm looking for. You know, we've ran, you got lots of information, you understand my audience, kind of. Let's go, you know, so. This has to do with implementing the pixels. The next video is gonna be about creatives. Um, again, in a technical way, uh, very tactical. So make sure that you keep watching the VSL series and thank you for watching this video.